So before spring gets here, I need to do a few things with my lawnmower to get it ready for uh, its first cut. I wasn't able to get this done um, at the end of the fall and before winter got here. So um, one of the things I need to do today is uh, just clean the foam element that goes around the actual air filter itself. Um, so I'm just going to kind of take you guys through that and uh, show you what the instruction manual actually says to do in order to maintain that foam element and to kind of clean out the air filter compartment. So you can see it's pretty dirty. Um, I try to do this relatively often. I haven't done it uh, in a little bit of time, but uh, the actual foam element that goes around the filter looks uh, catches a lot of the big and main debris. Um, and that's really the biggest thing that has to be cleaned the most often. Um, <clears throat> so before I get into that, what I'm going to do is put a paper towel in there. <clears throat> so I'm going to put a paper towel down in this hole to kind of help prevent any sort of dirt or debris going down into the carburetor. Um, but what we're going to do here is if you guys can see this, you can see how kind of dirty that is. Um, <clears throat> it looks a lot worse than it actually is, but this just peels right off. And then I'll wipe down the rest of this air filter. Um, so what the manufacturer recommends to do is to uh, wash this foam element in warm soapy water. <clears throat> and then you put oil on this foam element and uh, squeeze out the extra, extra oil because that oil kind of acts as a uh, basically something that catches the main debris so the debris sticks to the oil. So now I'm just going to wash this foam element. cleaning it, uh, I found out that this uh, foam element actually has a hole in it right there. So I'm going to have to buy a new one. So in the meantime, what I'll do is clean out this the air filter box or compartment uh, and vacuum off the actual air filter itself. Um, and then I'll go get a new foam element to put on the air filter uh, to get this all ready to go for the spring. finish this video um, the lawn care equipment Arco lawn, lawn equipment I believe it is uh, they didn't have this foam replacement piece in their store so they had to order it and I had to wait a few days uh, to get it so I thought it was going to be pre-oiled but I'm still going to have to do that so I get to still continue to show you uh, essentially how to clean this foam element to put back around the air filter um, so they're, the old one and the new one are, are two different colors. They're, this is the old one. It's really not that dirty. The original color was not this color. It was a black gray color. Um, so like I said, it wasn't as dirty as it looked. Um, but like I showed you previously, it does have that hole in it. And it's a bit stretched out as well. So what I'm going to show you today is... Uh, kind of completing this process of oiling this foam element and then putting it back on the uh, air filter and we should be good to go. So uh, the oil and the owner's manual, it doesn't recommend a specific oil to put on this foam element. So for years, I've just been using the oil I use in the engine itself. It does not take a lot to do this. It's a very small amount. Um, so all I'm gonna use is this oil pan. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this oil in the oil pan and then uh, dip that foam element in the oil. You do want to make sure it is clean oil. You don't want to use dirty oil. <clears throat> so just a little bit in the, the pan, and then we just simply press this foam element in the oil and just kind of let the oil uh, soak into the foam. <clears throat> All right, so it's, it's pretty good and soaked. So now all you do is just kind of wring it out. You should see that oil drip out of the filter 
and that's uh, that's good. We don't want all that oil. We just kind of want an oil residue on this film element. And basically it's squeezing it until it doesn't drip out of the filter anymore. So now there's uh, just a, basically an oily residue on this foam element. Now it's time to go put it back on the actual air filter itself. All right, so all we have to do now is just put this back around the air filter itself. I've already cleaned and vacuumed this and as well as cleaned and vacuumed the uh, air filter compartment. Um, now we just have to reassemble everything. So that's what it looks like all put back together. Now we'll slide it back in here and put the cover back on. And that's it guys. So that's how you uh, clean or replace the uh, foam element that goes around the air filter on a Honda. This is an HRC 216. Not all of Honda's more have this type of air filters, but um, many of them do. Um, it's a really simple process. Let me uh, know if you guys have any questions, comments, leave those in the comments below. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like my content uh, and please subscribe to my channel if you'd like. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next one.